Hello everybody and welcome to another LS Dyna tutorial. In this video we have this three point bending file and we will modify few of the parts. First of all the specimen is this tube with the round corners you can see here and uh, I've already showed how to do this mesh in one of the previous tutorials. You can check that one and uh, this setup of the three point bending you can also refer to my three point bending tutorial to see how to do this part i mean the supports and also this punch or hammer so the first thing that we're going to do here is to remesh this guy okay this is rigid and uh, you can see the mesh is not very fine so i will try to remesh this one first so i go to element tools and then i go to measure then I see the height is 50 and the radius or the diameter is 100. The diameter is 100, so the radius is 50. So I go to mesh, then shape measure, and then I go to cylinder solid. And here the radius is 50, the length is 50 also, and then the direction is Z. Then if I create, you can see they are overlapping, meaning the position is correct. So here I just want to increase this one and let's say I put it 200 and then the number in this direction in the longitudinal direction there is no need. So I click on accept. Sorry, I need to create on create first and then accept. So if I click on F2 now, you will see I have this one is I created by mistake. I will delete that and this one is the fine mesh. So now I display this one and this one these guys i want to delete them all together so element tools and then element edit then delete and then by area delete all all right so i display this one and then again i go to element tools delete okay, click on f2 first then i want to show everything show all hide this one now you can see this uh, blue dot here is the element mass and i lumped a big mass here so that i reach my target mass okay this hammer or this punch i only need the surface okay i don't i don't need actually the element inside so what i'm going to do now i will delete the elements that is inside so i go here element tools and then delete and then I go delete by elements propagate first I delete this one delete okay and then I go delete by part and then I go to elements then I click here propagate and now I click with the right mouse so click here to unselect and click here also to unselect and now delete so now you can see we have only the outer surface of this cylinder which will come in contact with the tube and then i go done one more thing that i need to do here i need to remove this point mass down here and then merge with the, the brown part so I go here, element tools, and then go to measure. From here until here, you see the distance in Z is 40. So I need to move the element mass 40 mm. So I need to go to transform. So element tools, then transform, and then translate in Z direction. And then by node or by elements no actually by nodes because this is a node yeah so now we said it is 40 move down now it's there then accept okay clear this one you can see here this is the blue one is the mass element now I go to merge duplicate nodes because I want them to be fixed together show duplicate nodes and then merge duplicate nodes then accept okay now i need to make this one i need to change the part id of this one so hammer 
then by part click here then apply and then done okay go to model i need to delete the extra part then part part here delete this guy and also delete this guy yes okay so now that's done so i display everything okay so now i remesh this hammer and also i remove the inside elements to reduce the file size the second thing that i'm going to do in this video is to remesh this guy why i need to remesh i want to change the shape from circle to triangle because i want to follow the experimental setup here the upper two circles you can just translate and copy elements and i think you should know how to do that so how to make the triangle from here first of all i go to element tools and transform i show here the left view or the right view now i will i'm going to play with this guy so transform and then i go put here 50 mm and i select node by area and make this area like this and then move down okay then accept now i have three nodes and from these three nodes i will make a triangle so create from element editing i go to create and then three nodes try node only then i select three nodes so this is one and this is two and this is three so i have my triangle here and then accept okay this triangle is is one whole element so you want to remesh that to make it nicer so just go by part click and then apply do it again apply accept do it again apply accept you can go as much as you want but the thing is this is gonna be a rigid part so it, it won't matter that much actually so now from this shell element i will make the solid part so i will extrude this one so go to mesh then element generation and then make solid face drag by part here and then the direction will be negative y and the thickness i think 100 then segment make one segment first yes it is 100 so let's say i want to make it five segments then accept all right i go and delete what i don't want so element editing by elements then i delete then any here propagate and then make this one delete this green one i don't want it okay now select by part and then click on this yellow one then delete then again by part select on this the new triangular part then by element then propagate and then this one make it five is okay then unselect with the right mouse so one two three and then apply okay so now there you go you have the triangle if you ask me why we have the space here because this one is actually shell the tube is from shell elements and i'm taking into consideration the shell thickness so if you go to model here and then appear and then thick mesh now you can see here we have the thickness so i'm putting some gap here and here also you can see i have a very small gap and here also i have small gap so now i have one more thing to do actually because i change the mesh of this guy i need to check the mass is it okay or not so i go to element tools mass and then here i go to what is it mass by part and then apply you can see this is actually the mass that i have okay five eight four 
which is less than the target mass. My target mass is 592. So I need to go to element mass and increase the mass. So before I do that, I click on F2, none, and then only show the hammer. You can see now I don't have the blue dot. So if I go here and then mass by part, you can see this is actually the mass that I have. The mass of the hammer without the added element mass. So I go this one here, calculator. My target mass is 592 minus this guy. So this should be the value of the element mass. I copy from there then I go to element mass and then copy here and then accept. Then done. Now I click on F2. I show everything and then I go to element tools and then measure. I measure the mass by part. Now I have 592. Okay. Before I forget, I need to delete the extra part that I did here. So this one, delete and done. Don't delete the part number 7. This is actually part number 7, the brown one. I need to do move and copy first. So by part, and this should be support, and then click here, apply, it will be green. Okay, perfect. Now again, I go to keyword and part part, and then delete part number 7. Okay, that's all for this meshing tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.